What's going on everyone? Train Freak here and today we are going to continue um, Operations Pro through JMRI and let's create a train. Why don't we? Actually we're going to go ahead and create two trains. Well maybe four trains. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Operations and click on Trains. And we have no trains there, so let's go ahead and add our first train. The train name, let's start with the Rock Island. So we're going to do R.I. Eastbound. And we could put a departure time here, so let's pull up our schedule again. And the Rock Island Eastbound leaves at 1515. We can see, whoops, sorry. We can see that right here, 1515. So let's put it in as 15, 15, all right, so let's add that train. The route we're going to use is the Little Rock to Brinkley local, so the train servicing those locations there, selected all these car types, all of those, so let's look at optional locomotive requirements we need one the model we could leave as anything the road we're gonna do the Rock Island because yeah um, last car in the train requirements is a caboose so if you are modeling after the um, caboose era and you use some Fred's then you could put, you know, make it that the last car is a Fred. For me, with the caboose, it's got to be a Rock Island. So that way the Rock Island is with the Rock Island. I mean, come on now. Locomotives, you could make it for two if you wanted to. That's going to be for like a bigger train. But since we're only doing locals right now, that's all we need to do. And I'm not limiting anything because we have staging. So let's go ahead and save that train. There's our first train, the Rock Island Eastbound. Let's add the Rock Island Westbound. And let's see, what time do I have on that schedule? I've got 1645. That means that train is going to be there for an hour and a half in Brinkley. Or not necessarily an hour and a half in Brinkley because it might take, what, 30 minutes for it to get from Little Rock to Brinkley. So it's going to be there for an hour. So we said 16.45. And let's add that train. Its route is going to be the Brinkley Little Rock local. So Brinkley Little Rock. One locomotive. Road, Rock Island. we got to have a caboose. Rock Island as well. And of course, like I said, because we have staging built into this, we're going to select everything and save our train. So now we have our Rock Island locals uh, pretty much made. And so now what we need to do is go into our um, <clears throat> cars and our locomotives and let's go ahead and assign a track. Because right now we can't build the train because we don't have anything assigned. So let's go ahead and go to our locomotives first. And of course, I've only got this one Rock Island, so we're going to hit set. Location, it is currently in Little Rock. On the Little Rock track. Alright. And we don't have to worry about assigning anything else. But we're just going to go ahead and hit save. So now it tells us we're in Little Rock. So I'm done with that window. Now let's go to our cars. Now, not all of these cars are on that track. So, what I need to look at is to see which ones are on that track. Alright, so the first one we have is the NWX. So, we're going to go in here. We're going to set that to Little Rock. Little Rock. <clears throat> and, I'm not going to save this yet because one of the things I wanted to explain was... Final destination and track, you can actually choose where that car is going to end up eventually. You can say return when empty, location. Maybe when this car is empty, I want it to come back to Little Rock. Okay? 
So that way it doesn't go to any of the other staging tracks. This would be good for when you have your routes and stuff set up. So that way you know, um, you know, specific type of cars are going to specific places. All right, so let's save that. Uh, do not select a staging track when sending a car to staging. Uh, I don't know what that was about. Let's go back in there and see what. So I guess um, I might have accidentally chose when loaded. Um, empty. Let's try it again. It might let us, it might not. And it could be because of the fact that, yeah, it's not going to let me do it for some reason, so... Who knows? Let's just continue. All right, next car, I've got this one here. So let's put this one at Little Rock, Little Rock, and save. And let's see, what's the next car? We've got three Rock Island box cars. So it's going to be these three here. So let's set those. Now, with these Rock Island box cars, those I would definitely want back in Little Rock. I'm going to try to attempt to see what happens here. And I guess it's not going to let me do that as well. So, I guess it just doesn't like the fact that you're going to put this these cars in staging at Little Rock. And then... <clears throat> you know, it's like, hey, it's we're already here. Why do we need to go somewhere? So this might be good to do once you get cars moving to specific locations. Just to kind of come back in here and look and see what's where. All right, after that, I've got our CTTX tank car. So we're going to set that at Little Rock as well. And let's see, we've got two Ashley Drew and Northern box cars. So once I get my Monticello location set up, I would definitely have these routed to Monticello. <clears throat> All right, let's see. What else do we have? We've got a LNA box car, and I'm not seeing that LNA box car here, so that's weird. Well, let's go ahead and add it real quick. I don't know why it never got added. LNA. And 15073. And this is a XM40 single door. 40 foot. And we can go ahead and add this location while we're here so we don't have to set it later. We'll just go ahead and add it. Why not? Uh, brown car. And let's see, the year it was built. Five of thirty-seven. Of course, I'm the owner, and we're gonna go ahead and add that car and save it. All right, so now I got my LNA car already at Little Rock, and we've got two more cars we need to do. We've got our sidetrack Sunday car, so let's go ahead and set it at Little Rock as well. Save. Whoops, wrong spot. Up here, Little Rock little rock and save and then last but not least we have our caboose and save so now we have our current train of one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven eleven total cars uh, that is currently on our little rock track now just to see how much you're actually using, we could go back to locations. And right here you can see that you've got uh, 540 feet of that 609 used. Rolling stock, they're using that as a combination of cars and local lo locos or locomotives. So you see that there as well. 
All right, so let's see if we can actually build our train now and see if we get any errors because there is the possibilities that we could have an error that we're going to have to kind of go back and look at. One of the things that I went ahead and did is hit preview instead of print. So it just basically changes the print button there to preview. All right, so let's build. We are going to go from Little Rock to Brinkley, so build. Ha, ah, looks like it built. And it's using 11 out of 50 possible cars. So let's preview our switch list. <clears throat> so we can see, whoops, preview. There we go. Oh, and there's our Train Freak logo. So I'm going to have to get in there and do some stuff with it. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I'll have to fix that Train Freak logo for sure. That's a little too big. So let's let's do that real quick because that just looks horrible. All right, so we're going to go back to the manifest print options and we're going to remove the logo for the time being. Eventually, I will find my Cotton Belt logo and use that instead. All right, we can close settings out. See, it's so fun that you have to just kind of go back and forth to everything. All right, so now we can preview and we don't have a crazy big logo in the way because my logo I'd want right here. So you can see that we've got schedule work at Little Rock. These are all of our pickups in green. And these are all of our setouts in red. So it looks like everything worked correctly. So from here, what we'll end up doing um, is we're going to go ahead and move. And actually, I don't want to preview this. Actually, let's see. Do I have a print button here? There's no print. That stinks. So I need to take that preview off. And I'm actually going to go ahead and print this to my printer. Whoops. So that way I can actually see it and we will run the train on the next episode. So other than that, this is pretty much it as far as getting the trains set up. So y'all have a good one. I hope this uh, Operations Pro tutorial helped. And hey, let's go run a train. Happy railroading, y'all.